Hey everyone, I'm Jeremy. Welcome back to Geek TV. If you love computers, tech, and home lab tinkering, consider clicking subscribe and the bell icon so you never miss a beat. I've talked a lot about Docker on the channel, including installing Docker, installing different applications that use Docker, but I've never really talked about how I keep track or save the files or back up the files that are in my volume. So say if something happens to one of my Docker hosts, my VMs, I have those files on a backup server so I can just throw them back on a new VM and be good to go. To do this, I'll be using Resilio Sync, which uses a peer-to-peer -peer technology. You install it on your Docker host and you install it on your backup server, which in my case will be my Synology NAS. To install Resilio Sync, I'll be using this Linux server.io Docker image, and I'll be using Docker Compose through Portainer to make things nice and simple. I wanna say before moving forward that Resilio Sync is not a backup tool. It is a syncing tool, obviously. It has the word sync in it, so if you're into downloading crazy files on your Docker hosts, like, I don't know, like movies and TV shows and stuff like that, just know that some files may be a threat to your system, so whatever comes to your host machine will also be going to your backup server. So just know that moving forward, that this is not a backup tool, it is a syncing tool. I know I said this is how I back up my Docker volumes, but it's more like how I sync or copy the files to a backup server. To get started, I'm going to head over to Docker Hub to the linuxserver.io image for Resilio Sync, where I will grab this Docker Compose command here down the page. I will copy it. Then I'll head over to Portainer and create a new stack. So let's do that now. Okay, so here's Portainer and I'm on the stacks page and I'm going to click add stack. I'll paste that content into the editor here. And what I'm gonna do is make a few changes. So I went ahead and jumped forward a little bit and I changed a couple things in here, including the volumes. Now, the most important volume that you wanna pay attention to here is the sync volume. Notice that it's just slash. And what this allows us to do is browse in Resilio Sync. It allows us to browse all of our directories on the host computer. We'll do the same thing for the server as well. One thing that we're not paying attention to too much is the downloads because we're not really using this. We're only using this for syncing purposes. So it doesn't really matter where this is bound to. Now all that's left to do is give it a name. I'll call it Resilio and then deploy the stack to install Resilio Sync. All right, so just so we're all on the same page, this is the Docker host instance of Resilio Sync that we're working on. So wherever those volumes are, whatever host those are on, this is where Resilio Sync is being installed, just so we're all on the same page. All right, so Resilio Sync has finished installing. We can see it here in the container list and we can see the published ports as well. What I'm going to be backing up today is my WordPress website. So that's what I'm going to be browsing for once we hit the Resilio Sync dashboard. So let's go ahead and hop over to the Resilio Sync dashboard by clicking on these ports. And this is Resilio Sync. What you'll be prompted to do when you first log over to the dashboard is to set up a username and password. It'll ask you if you want to use home or professional. You'll use the home version because that's the free version. You don't need to pay for anything for this to work. To get started, we need to add a folder to share to the server. So let's click on the plus icon in the upper left here, and then we'll click on standard folder. And remember back when we installed Resilio Sync, how I did the root, and this allows us to browse all of our folders just like so. And what I'm going to do is go back to my Portainer and find out where the WordPress files are stored. So let's go ahead and go back over to Portainer and see where that's at. So by clicking on WordPress here, I'll be able to come scroll down here and find out where my volumes are. It says root portal, so that's where it's stored on the system. So I will go back to Resilio Sync, and then we will browse for the root folder right here. And then there's the portal folder with all of the WordPress files inside of it right there. So I'll click open on the portal folder. And then this little pop-up will come up asking you how you want to share out your folder. For now, what we're going to do is go ahead and close this because we don't have a server side to share anything out to. We'll get back to this in a little bit. So I'll go ahead and close it out and let's get ready to set it up on our server side. And for me, this will be my Synology NAS. The first thing I did on my Synology NAS was create a new share called Docker Backups. Then within this share, I create new folders based on whatever it is that I'm syncing or whatever volumes that I'm backing up. In this case, I'll create a new folder called Portal. 
because that's the one we're backing up now or syncing. The next step is to install Resilio Sync on your Synology NAS. You can see here that I already have it installed. You can do that by going to the Package Center and searching for Resilio. Since I already have it installed, mine says open, but yours will say install. Go ahead and click install, and then we'll move on from there. If you're not using a Synology NAS as your backup server, you can use any other system or server and just install it like we did on our host machine using Docker. Once the installation is complete on the server side, go ahead and open Resilio Sync instance on the server side do what we did on the host side, create a username and a password, and then select the home version. So this here is my backup side Resilio Sync instance. You'll see here that I have a few folders already shared, but when you install it, it'll be blank and you won't see anything here. This is because I have Resilio installed on other Docker hosts. What I'm going to do now is share the folder that I set up for the host for this video. So I'll go back over to the host. This is the host machine. I will right click on the folder. I'll click share. And this is the very important part of this video. You want to make sure that read only is selected. Because if you do make it read and write, that means any changes made to those folders on the server side will also be made on the host side. So if you accidentally delete files, well, whatever app you installed will disappear and it'll be gone. You don't want that to happen. Trust me, I've done that before and it sucks. So make sure read only is selected. Click on key. And again, make sure that we copy the only read-only key here. So I'll go ahead and click Copy. I like to make sure I copy it. Then we're going to go back over to our server side. We're going to go up in the upper left-hand corner. This time, instead of clicking Standard Folder, we're going to click Enter a Key or Link. We'll put that key in here and then click Next. We'll go ahead and search for the folder where we want to store it. We're going to go to Docker Backups. I'm going to go to the portal folder that I created and click Open. This will begin the syncing process. You'll see the progress here in percentage and it will start to download the folders and files. To make sure this worked properly, I'll go back over to my Synology NAS and this is the folder that we created, Portal, and there's all the WordPress files and folders right there. What's really awesome about Resilio Sync is every time I make a change to my website, my WordPress site, or whatever it is, whatever application is that you're syncing using Resilio Sync, it updates in real time. So every time I make a blog post, any file that's changed will be synced back up to my backup server. That's really all there is to it, getting Resilio set up on the host side and the server side. Remember, if you don't have a NAS, you don't have to use that. You can just set it up the same way we did for the host side on a different machine. If you do prefer a written guide on how to set this up, you can head over to the Home Lab Wiki where you can see the backup Docker containers using Resilio Sync. The link will be in the description below. It'll walk you through step by step in a text format guide. And that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. Click the bell icon so you know when the videos drop. It'll send you a push notification to your phone letting you know when that happens. Also, we're on Discord. Find that information also in the description below. There's links for all the stuff, all the things. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.